as before, the first world of industrial is a walkthrough of what you can expect to see in terms of aesthetics and in terms of what kinds of concepts you might see. We didn't see any uh, in Jungle World lavers or plates or any of that nature, but we should be able to see some of that here. As with the other Welcome World, this is more of a straight run through and very little in the way of puzzles. As long as you grab those gold over that I just grabbed there, you won't have to worry too much about not being able to complete this level properly because after you fall from here, you can't obviously go back. So far, the basic aesthetics are um, hang hand over hand bars or wires, and we've got a considerable number of pipes boxes and metal scaffolding as well as some electrical equipment and wires. I can never tell if those spinning things are fans or if they're lights. I think they're lights, but they look like fans. Okay, we hit our first puzzle of the day, actual puzzle. As tempting as it is for me to dig out that entire column of cylinders, I'm just going to do the very basic single dig here because there's no reason to do anything else that's more complicated than that. What's going to be more interesting is the right side. How many times we have to go through the right side depends on how well we dig the first time. It is, it, I'm sure it's possible to get all the gold on one try down here, but I'm probably gonna have to do at least two trips. Okay, my idea here is to dig out enough boxes so that there is an entire outcropping of the next level and then quickly dig out boxes to make an outcropping for the next level below it while grabbing the gold. In hindsight, I probably could have grabbed that gold on the side, but I didn't want to go for it because I already missed my chance with the other two gold up there. And what do we have here? A plate. And we finally get to see plates in action. Up until now, we haven't had them in Jungle World and also, up until now, I had no idea how to get to that portal up there. I figured it was you're down there and now you're screwed. Very thankful that plate did what I expected it to do. All right, let's just finish this off. This should be super easy. We just have to dig one here because there's enough space to dig out. I want to be able to get out of here, so I'm going to dig. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't have to do that. This was already a corner. Oh, well. doesn't look too good. All right, um, let's interrupt things a little bit and quickly get over there. If we follow behind this monk, we shouldn't have a problem. There are some holes in the ground in the uh, midsection, so we're gonna have to stay on the path of the blue monks for now. I'm not so sure I want to use the bombs though, because if I use a bomb, I don't have anywhere to run. There's holes on the sides. I have to run into the line of blue monks to get out of here. I think it's much easier and safer if I just dig a hole. That should interrupt the convoy just a little bit enough to maybe find... Oh, there was a big opening earlier, but now there isn't. I'm going to have to just wait for this that opening coming up and hope I'm fast enough. Alternatively, I can chicken out. I guess if you're going for a high score, you kind of have to do this perfectly. But if you're just trying to get it right and not die, you can kind of take your time with these guys. They're all going to appear in the outer ring. Okay. Let's actually do this properly now. Okay. 
don't don't hit the one in front of me and don't let the one behind me catch up and done what are those cylinders even spinning for uh, anyway not important what's important is that oh here's the fun part deciding when to leave the hideaway Oh, he didn't fall in the hole. That guy started coming up, and that guy's still there. There's not much room to move around in, so... Okay, I've got them both. Whew. The monks can't see you in the hideaways, but they also can't hit you in the hideaways. Wait for that guy to get out of the way. And just in time. It would behoove me to fall into that hideaway directly. I always dig two squares. The direction the monk is coming at me from and a direction on the side. I notice that monks sometimes their AI causes them to kind of flank you a little bit. And that's my way of trying to avoid that. Okay, those on the left don't really care. They more care about each other and um, banging against each other. Oh, don't climb the... Okay, good. As with uh, Jungle World, most of the uh, beginning levels, and there you see I do that little double dig again just to be on the safe side. I probably don't have to, but I want to. Most of the beginning levels are a little bit straightforward. Okay, now we're talking. If I... What's this do? That causes those blocks to fade in and fade out. And I need them faded in to climb the ladder and it doesn't look like it does anything else. Ooh, I can't go up that way. Well, there's another switch I can reach down there. It doesn't look too difficult to get to. Um... Just get behind him, get the gold, wait for him to go out of the way and hit the lever, hit the switch. Uh-oh, how am I going to do this? Everything is blocked off with undiggables. Oh, of course! The box, the switch on the box causes it, boxes to phase in. The switch on that little great um, cylinder caused those to phase out, which means that switch causes those blocks that the purple monk is on to phase out. There we go. And then I flip that on again and uh, he's gone. Goodbye. A simple double dig here gets us down there and then we can get to that last switch and activate that last. And if these switches continue to operate as I expect, that gets rid of the darker wooden blocks. So basically we could have deduced that the switch that was on, that was up there, got rid of those cylinders where the purple monk was because it shared the same type of block with those. So the other two switches are kind of training you to see how to deal with that uh, third section. And I really want that extra life. Do I need it? Nope. Do I want it? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to need to do a double dig here. Well, actually, I'm going to need to do um, a triple dig because I need to dig out two on the bottom. So I'm thinking of digging out these three corner pieces. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. You ruined my dig, you mean person. This time, I'm going to dig as soon as he's there so he falls in the hole and gets it over with climbing out of it so I have time to actually make my dig. And now I've got my extra life. I don't want to take any chances here. And yet another ring of monks. Industrial world is just as much about rings of monks as it is about electrical equipment. Maybe they're all workers. 
but they don't seem to do much. I don't know if this is political commentary or not. Alright, we're gonna need those two bombs to go to the right side. As soon as we go to the right side, we're gonna unleash the Black Monk, and we want to be careful when we unleash him, because we don't want him to follow us out here. I want to make a little bit more space in this ring because I'm going to want to have a bit more variety to escape from that little pylon area there. When I oh wait, you're not blind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm running away now. Okay, when's the best time to do it? When he's going in the opposite direction. Now he sees me, and I don't want him to escape, so... As long as we time this right, and uh, keep the Death Monk off our tracks long enough, we should be fine. Um, what is this? Turn that up to phase in. Turn that down to phase out. What's the point of phasing out the bottom? I mean, I don't... Wait, if I run to the end there and fall off, I have nowhere to go. That's a trap. Looks like there's something missing. Oh, of course! Look, right above me. There are those two pressure plates on that little area. There, if a monk dies, it sometimes spawns in a location different from where it started. Remember in the tutorial world, monks can activate pressure plates. So if I just time this right and kill him, maybe he'll appear somewhere I need. It would appear that my guess was right. Face them back in, and now there's a way out. Doesn't look like there's a way up to that door. I assume killing the Death Monk is going to produce the second set of blocks that we need. But I like to really make sure he's dead, so I'm gonna bomb him and beach ball him. Okay, it is very foreboding when there's an extra life immediately after entering the world. What the heck is going on here? Four pressure plates. Looks like I need to hit them all to get to the other side. I'm assuming there's an order you have to hit them in, but how is that order enforced? Let's do the first one. Oh, it blocks off that one. I can't get there anymore. And that one brings in some more of the area, but blocks off the first one, so I can't reach it. Okay, I need to hit them in the right order so that I can get my path, but I don't block off something I haven't all I have to still yet to use, or I don't I'm not gonna create a path for. So I know the first one's not gonna work. But I also know that the second that the um the second one's going to block off the first one, but the first third one's going to be blocked off by the second one. So let's do the third one first. Okay, now there's a path there. So if we hit the first one, we'll have an ability to get there that we didn't have before. So the second one's going to block off the first one, but we already have it, so it doesn't matter. So we can actually go across now and hit the ones that we haven't hit before. And that brings us to the end here. It's not entirely trial and error. Um, use a little bit of uh, sound logic and... Um, once you understand what's happening, you can probably get it done in, like, two tries. I'm being serious, I did not memorize the solution. Another extra life as soon as I enter. Thank you. Does that gold look off to you? Oh, it's above us! Oh, it's another monk thing! 
Once the monks are dead, they're gonna land on the pressure plates, which should start, if my guess is right, phase in blocks to um, get the gold, but I have to actually kill the monks first. I need to, cr oh, damn you. That, that's why I meant by flanking. You went around instead of going the most direct path. I'm gonna try to make a line of blocks and stand in the right place so they just keep following me until eventually the blocks phase in faster than they can climb out of them. As long as I can hold position here and get them to keep going long enough to get just one to die. Okay, good. I got luck there. Oh, get out of there! Oh, phew. Oh, that was bad. I almost got crushed by the phasing in of the block. Yeah, you probably don't want to be standing there when those monks land, right? From here, once I've taken this one out, all the monks are just going to be sitting around idly by, stretching their arms, taking their break. Apparently their work for the day is just going to be firing those four pressure plates. Still, I'd say they did a good job today. And I appreciate their help in this matter. I just hope their managers don't see them now. That would not end well. Yeah, you're gonna have to dig down like this from the ladder because there's not enough space to really do a, a dig with any other appreciable amount of depth. We've seen this technique before in Jungle World. And okay, don't wanna go there. There's a tripwire. I'm gonna unleash the monks if I fire that tripwire. If I go up here and fall here, I can bypass the tripwire. Now I don't have to deal with it. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to at least deal with those monks at some point. They are guarding a quite a considerable amount of gold. All right, well, while the monks are still in there, I have the time to think and contemplate the best way to get all this gold. I want to try to get as much gold in one trip as possible, so I'm going to try to do a triple dig here. That's probably not what I want, actually. There's too many open areas. I won't be able to fall down and create the dig. Oh, I know what I can do. I can just take advantage of the fact that there's already enough open space and then just fall down and stop overthinking this. That's what I can do. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think you can get both of them in one go because of that one block at the bottom. Doesn't look like it can be dug out in any way. There's no place to stand to actually dig it out. But I can probably dig that out by digging out a, a three corner and uh, jumping down, digging out the two, and then I can then do... <laughs> All right, there's no block behind there. <laughs> really should have noticed that before. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. It's not like you wouldn't know that there's nothing there. I mean, the level design gives me ample place to see. Oh. There's actually nothing behind that's supporting those, so whatever I dig is going to have to be on this line. But I suppose I can probably still dig. I can dig three in a single line. And if I dig those two out, I still have space to dig one more here. And I only need one to get out. All right, let's see what the rest of this level has to offer. Oh, 
No, actually, I only needed a double dig. I didn't need a triple dig here. Dig that out so we can get both that piece of gold, and then we can stand here, and then we can... Oh... There was gold up that ladder um, to the up of me. But the only way to get it looks like to climb the ladder as soon as that bomb explodes. So once the tripwire is fired, that's the only chance we have to actually climb that ladder. So if I want to get all the gold, I have to trip that now. Alternatively, I could watch these monks keep banging into each other instead of actually just stopping and staying still for a while, not getting the point that they can't actually get out, and that's always endlessly amusing. But anyway. Yeah, this is completely blocked off. If you had tripped this earlier in the level and not gone up that ladder behind the boxes, this level would be practically unsolvable because there's no way to dig to this ladder otherwise. Thankfully, the boxes have prevented them from reaching me, and they're going to try to get to a higher vantage point. If I could just wait here for them to get as high up as, I can, as they can, I might be able to run past all of them and climb the ladder on the other side before they're close enough to me to climb the same ladder. This is basically an AI exploit. Because they're going to try to uh, fix their Z level with me before they fix their Y and X levels with me. Or rather, they're going to fix how vertically high they are before they fix how horizontal they are to me. So they've, they've retreated because to them, I would be closer if they climbed first. And that ladder was closer. I've caused them to go right back to where they were. Now they should stay there for as long as I'm technically unreachable. Do a proper double dig this time. Open this up, grab the gold, get out as quickly as possible. That finishes off the gold for this level. They're all behind me, they're trailing. The exit portal was down here, so with that, I've taken them all out. Looks like we've hit the warehouse district. What are those monks hiding? They're like stacked on top. Oh my gosh, there's a donut. Oh, <laughs> I, I really should have seen the monks. I, I was distracted by the donut and because of that, I got electrocuted by the monks. Wait for them to climb all the way up, then fall down, and then take a closer look at that donut. I'm going to need a bomb or something, because there's no way to dig when a monk is already there. There must be something hidden inside this, this box that would allow me access to that donut. Getting the donut should be the first priority. In this game, donuts are more valuable than gold. I don't know what they do. I've never collected them all before. But, if they actually do something, I would like to get them all on the same save file. And then maybe I'll explore what they do at the same time everybody else explores what they do. Let's see if there's any hidden entrances down here. Doesn't look like it, and the speed in which I dig, I'm not going to be able to see very well. It's kind of hard to see now if there's any exits, and those monks are already climbing up to meet me. Um... I can dig for as long as I want. I'm not sure I'm gonna find anything. I might have to do a couple like blind tries to see what's in the interior of this structure that could potentially lead me to something that would be working while. It's basically a lot of trial and error and with the perspective as it is, I'm basically flying blind here. All right, let's just do a basic dig here and see if Mabel will stumble upon it. I'm trying to stay a little bit in the interior just to see if there's something, but it looks like there isn't, at least not so far. 
No, there's no hole there. Can I get this gold before the monk grabs? Well, that's a no. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this uh, later. 